If you're struggling to make more money with your creative business, don't worry, I got you. Because in this video, I'm gonna share some simple tips that you can do right now to start making more money. And it doesn't matter what your business is. You could be a photographer, a graphic designer, freelance writer. I think you can apply these tips to any business. Just a little disclaimer before I get into the content, I am not a business expert. I've actually had a lot of businesses that have failed, but I have learned a lot. And each year I've gotten you know better when it comes to business. And each year I've made more money um, but not making the crazy amounts. I'm still a work in progress. Uh, so yeah, I just want to share that, but let's get into it. All right. So the first thing you can do to make more money is you can add on extra services. So you have your main service. So start thinking about different little add-ons that you can add to that service. I think this is probably the easiest way to just increase your income. This is something that I currently do in my business with a lot of my freelance clients because the more that I work with them, I start to, you know, learn about more pain points. And, you know, if I'm already doing a service, let's say um, video editing or something like that, um, you know, those people may also be interested in me managing their social media. So just finding out areas where I can help them more that's related to the main service that I offer. And you can do this in any industry. And I find that most clients, um, if you bring it to their attention, that you can also do these extra services for them. In my experience, a lot of my clients have been open to that, especially if you're doing a good job with the current services that you offer then you know they're very open to taking you on you know with uh extra services that you can do for them and i think when it comes to this you have to communicate this to your clients and let them know that you can do these other services and that was something that was a kind of like a sticking point for me and i had to get over that fear of you know asking them not asking them but telling them like hey i can do this for you too and i can do this for this amount um, you know, because they don't know. So you have to let them know like, hey, I can do these other things as well that can help you get to this desired, um, to get this desired result or just whatever they're trying to achieve. So I think with a lot of people, you know, it's just a fear of bringing it, bringing it up and um, just being afraid to put it out there. Um, so you have to get over that fear and um, it can really help you when it comes to increasing your income. All right, so the second thing you can do to make more money with your business is to raise your prices. I think this is a huge fear for a lot of people who are, especially if you're new to business, I know it was for me, because it's just the fear of you raising your prices and then you don't get any clients. I understand completely what that feeling is like. From my experience, when it comes to pricing, it's, it's something that I've really had to work on my mindset um, I really just kind of ripped the bandaid off and I just said to myself, you know, I'm, I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of, um, undervaluing my services and I want to make more money and I'm going to put this out there and I'm going to see what happens. And honestly, just believing in my pricing, I think a client can tell, especially if you're doing like consultation calls and you're selling services or anything related to that, a client can tell when you don't believe in your pricing. So it's something that you have to do a lot of inner work and really work on um, truly believing that your services are worth that amount of money. Honestly, there has been times where I've raised my prices for a service and I've had to come back down, um, you know, because I kind of, I, I just went too high and I wasn't really getting any bites when it came to that service. So that's part of the process too. It may be times where you have to come back down, but the most important thing is that you're willing to go up. You're willing to get out of your comfort zone and actually improve and make more money. And like I said, just being willing to do that and having the confidence to do that. And this last point I wanna say about pricing, do not get discouraged when you hear a lot of no's. That's just part of the process and don't let it, you know, you hear a couple no's and you just go back down on your pricing. Like that's part of the proce process. I couldn't tell you how many times I've heard a bunch of no's and then I've heard like three or five yeses in a row. Um, so it's one of those situations where you really have to stand your ground, stick to your pricing, um, continue to trust your marketing and in, in believing in what you're doing. And eventually, if you're marketing right and you really have your service down and, and who you're targeting, things like that, um, you will reach the right people who will um, respect your pricing and, you know, not even 
you know, make a, a big fuss about your pricing. All right. So this last tip I have for y'all is to stop selling. I know that sounds crazy, right? But just listen up. So you have to stop selling and you have to be personable. Huge lesson that I've learned on this whole entrepreneur and business journey. And I see this with a lot of um, newer entrepreneurs and it's that they, they try to sell too much. And honestly, that pushes customers away. I personally don't like, you know, someone like overly trying to sell to me. My wife, she does not like it at all either. When we experience that, we always look at each other and we just look funny at each other, like, cause we just don't like it. And that's something that I kind of did in my early stages of, um, you know, businesses that I started in was probably why I wasn't really getting a ton of results is because I was just too salesy. And I don't think people like that. I think, you know, something that has worked for me is more of that approach of being personable um, and not focusing on getting the sales so much and focusing more on the client and what they're looking for. And, um, you know, them telling me their struggles, their pain points, really just me listening to what they need and what they've been going through and then providing a solution to their problems. So it's really just kind of switching my approach and switching that whole mindset of, you know, I'm selling this service, I'm selling this product. And it's, it's, it's more so like, how can I, you know, really listen to this person? And then how can I provide a solution? Um, that's really something that has worked for me. I don't even really find myself selling too much when it comes to um, clients reaching out and really pitching and, you know, just trying to convince them. It's more so me taking a step back and just really being personable, really listening to them. And I've had really good success with that. So if you are struggling with your sales, like you're getting leads, um, you're getting people coming to you, but you're not converting them, I would tell you to not speak as much, listen more, ask more questions, and really identify what these people are struggling with. And then once you kind of figure that out, then you can tell them how you can help them achieve um, the desired result that they're trying to get. If you have a business and you're currently struggling in a certain area, feel free to leave it in the comments and let me know. Hopefully I can give you um, some advice. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video. Peace.